to lesson 9.9 .9 in our math books where we'll be subtracting like denominators. Today we're subtracting fractions with like denominators. So I have the problem 5 eighths minus 3 eighths. I have this fraction bar that's in eight parts and I've started with 5 eighths. Now I'm going to take away 3 eighths. Take away 1, 2, 3, and how many does that give me? It gives me 1, 2, 8. 5 minus 3 is 2, and the 8 parts stay the same. Now we're going to do a vertical problem. 12 fifteenths minus 7 fifteenths. Oh, but you know what? I forgot something on the first problem, and you might do this too. So always check your answers. When I got to two eights, I just realized that I can make this in simplest form. What I have to do is I realize these are even numbers, and I can divide this by two, and that gives me one, and I can divide this by two, and that gives me four. So always remember, don't do like I do. Make sure you go back and check and see if this fraction can be in simplest form. So now let's really go to this problem. We have 12 fifteenths minus 7 fifteenths. Well, we know 15 stays the same. It doesn't change parts, only the shaded parts change. I had 12 minus 7 equals 5. Now I'm looking at that problem and realizing that there's a lot of the same factors in 5 and 15. We've got 1 and 5 here, but 15 also includes 1 and 5. So I'm going to, to divide by 5 to make it into lowest terms. And if I divide 15 by 5, I get 3. So the final answer here is going to be not 5 fifteenths, but in simplest terms is one third. Always remember to have your answer in simplest form. So please continue to do the problems in the book just like the ones that we did on the board here today. And if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to contact me.